Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Outtoos. In these videos, we'll be showing you OnlyFans Explained, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to download OnlyFans app in Android. So you might be wondering, how do you actually download OnlyFans into your mobile device? Well, in this case, downloading the app itself can be quite hard because currently with how OnlyFans is actually set up right now, they don't have a specific app or an app that is actually released on a Play Store as well on the App Store for you to start using it now in this case there are going to be some alternatives here as well as a official app that is from only fans but has filtered content in this case what we need to do is first check google play store in this case you could actually search for oftv here which is directly from only fans itself it gives you an option to actually use their services or uh, basically stream some shows and some content from creators from oftv now in this case this is still from only fans so if you want to view some of the content that they release you could go and just install this app here and you should be able to start using it but you might be wondering what about the official or the actual OnlyFans uh, website or the OnlyFans uh, account that you want to access? Well, you could actually use a browser here. So by the way, I'm going to use my Google Chrome uh, browser here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we first have to go to our website, which is going to be OnlyFans.com. Now in this case, where's the installation process here? How do we actually add this to our mobile device? Well, at the top right of the screen, you should be able to see a tree dotted icon. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should see you should see the option that says install app. So let's go ahead and click on it. And that would actually initiate the process of installation. So in this case, just click on install. It's going to start installation, uh, installing the OnlyFans uh, application. But in this case, it's not directly an application here. It's more of a uh, window that you can actually access immediately on your mobile device. In this case, it's going to start the security uh, checks on my mobile device here. So just uh, let's just go ahead and wait for that. But once we actually exit this one, as you can see, we should be able to see OnlyFans now installed on our mobile device. In this case, go ahead and open that up. And from here, we should be able to get our or enter our email here, as well as a password for us to actually start logging in into our account. But in this case, that's how you download or install OnlyFans on your Android device. How to create an OnlyFans account. So first things first, we need to visit the official website for OnlyFans. Or in this case, you need to open up the app itself. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to sign up. So in their official website, which is uh, going to be OnlyFans.com, this is the first thing that you'll see here. So in this case, if you haven't created your account yet, just click on the sign up for OnlyFans here. Just click on it. And from here, you have the option to start creating your account. So you need to enter your name here as well as your email and the password that you want to use for your account. Now in this case, once you've provided all the details here, just click on sign up and you should be able to see the next page. Now the great thing here with the OnlyFans account that we can actually create here, we could actually use our Twitter account or our Google account to set up our OnlyFans account. Now in this case, I'm going to use my Google account here to for an easy way of actually signing up. In this case, we want to choose our account here or a Google account. Let's go and choose this one. And from here, it's going to ask, it, ask us if you want to really sign in. Let's go and click on continue here. And from here, that would actually initiate the account creation or creation process of our account. Now, in this case, you should be able to see the, uh, the next page here. So also, by the way, if you didn't use the method that I actually use, you might need to verify your email. So in this case, you need to uh, basically uh, verify it via your email address. So make sure to do that as well. But in this case, you should be able to start using the platform itself. Now, in this case, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. You could search for the creators that you want to search for here. So in this case, you could go ahead and start using users or post. Or if you want to start use, uh, searching for a creator that you want to support, you also have the notification section here and a lot more now i also have the messages here so if one of the creators actually message you this is where you'll be able to see it and in this case at the top right here if you click on the three dotted option you have the hide all lock pause uh post hide all promotional posts or hide the profile banner how to use OnlyFans app 
for beginners. So first things first is we need to go to uh, the official website for OnlyFans. So go to OnlyFans.com and you should be able to see the login page for OnlyFans. Now in this case, an account is actually required on OnlyFans. Now in this case, go and click on the sign up for OnlyFans and from then just follow the steps. So that includes providing your name, email, and the password they want to use for your account. Now also, there's going to be an alternative way of actually signing up by clicking on the sign in with Twitter or the sign in with Google option here. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and choose whatever method you want to create your account here. But in this case, since I've already created my account, we I want to go ahead and log in. So in this case, I want to sign in into my account. Just click on sign in with Google here and choose our Gmail account. Now, once we've done that, we should be able to see the main UI for OnlyFans. Now, in this case, uh, we are going to view a few uh, settings, different pages here, or how to actually start using it. Now, in this case, by default, there's going to be five icons that you should be able to see at the very bottom here. We have our home page, our notification section, our post section, our messages, and our profile. Now, in this case, first things first is our home page. Now, home page is going to show you the home page. Now, if you've subscribed to someone or to someone's account, or if you've uh, if you want to view like general content from people you follow on OnlyFans, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now, also if you want to post something, you can go and click on post a post here. Just type whatever here and just click on post at the top right once you're done. Now, you could add to the different polls here. And uh, also the option to use the quiz option here if you want to. Now, in this case, uh, this is where you'll be able to see general content from creators that you follow. But in this case, yeah. So the homepage from the name itself is going to be the homepage. Now, if you want to search for a specific person on OnlyFans, you could go ahead and use the uh, search uh, icon or the magnifying icon at the top right here. And just type in the name of the user that you want to follow. In this case, you could go ahead and just enter the name here. And from here, you should be able to see different users or the account itself or different posts about that specific topic that you've entered. In this case, you could go ahead and click on the profile icon or the name itself, and that should open up their profile. Now, on their profile, you should be able to see some information, do a few things here. So depending on uh, uh, how they set up their account. Now, in this case, like for example, I'm going to actually unsubscribe to this one. Just click on unsubscribe so that you'll be able to see the whole thing here. So in this case, first things first, you should be able to see the name, the at uh, name that I have, descriptions, and a few things here. So if a specific user is behind a paywall in the subscription section, you should be able to... Uh, uh, subscribe to their account so if their account is free you won't see the subscription uh, section here you just see uh you will be you'll you'll be able to see the f for free option or subscribe option here if they have their account for public or it's actually free but again if they are behind a paywall you might need to subscribe or add your card first before you will be able to subscribe to them in this case i'll be showing you how to uh, add a card later on but yeah now, in this case, in this page here, you should be able to see the different content that they have, media that they have, different posts, and a lot more. You can even filter them by art, beauty, stuff like six. Oh, yeah. So, in this case, that's how you view their profile here. Now, if you want to subscribe to them, just click on the appropriate button here. So, sometimes they would give you the option to subscribe for three months, one month, uh, one month, two months. Yeah. So, depending on how you want to subscribe to them, just choose the appropriate button in the subscription section. In this case, at the top section, you should be able to see three buttons here. We have the message button, which in this case allows you to message the specific creator here. You also have the favorite option here, which actually enables you to save this uh, creator on a specific list if you want to categorize them on a specific list here. You also, you have the share button here if you want to share this creator to your friends or to anybody else or share, share the link for their own uh, account here. You can go and choose whatever here. In this case, if you want to report uh, someone on OnlyFans, you can go and click on the tree dot icon at the top right here and you have the following options. You have the stick, block, and report option. Now, also, you have the option to add to remove from lists or hide users' foes from feed if you want to. Now, in this case, that's how you view someone's profile and adjust a few settings or subscribe to their account.
Now, what about the other icons that you see at the very bottom? Now, in this case, the notification section here, this is where you'll be able to see different notifications. Like, for example, if someone actually tag you on a post or a comment, this is where you, you'll be able to see it. See comments or mentions or any subscriptions. Like, for example, someone actually is promoting something. Like, for example, a user is or a creator is actually inviting you to subscribe to their account again. Say, so if they have promotions, this is where it's going to appear. And also subscription here if, if it's also going to notify you if, if your subscription for a specific cre uh, content creator is going to be up so this is where you you'll be able to see it now in this case if you want to edit a few things here you can go and click on the gear icon top right here and you have the option to disable push notifications if you want to and email notifications as well if you want to if you want to disable that and site notifications if you want to disable that as well and toast notifications here if you want to as well now, you also have the Telegram bot here option. So in this case, you, you'll be able to get the link for the Telegram bot that you have. Now, in this case, if you click on the plus button or the uh, message or the post uh, button here, you should be able to start creating or start posting uh, things here if you want to. Now, also, you have the messages icon at the very bottom here. So in this case, if uh, someone actually messages you on the platform, this is where you'll be able to see it. If you want to create a new message, just click on the plus button to stop right here to create your own. Like, for example, you want to message this one, you could go ahead and click that user. Click on the type message option and just enter whatever message you want to send. In this case, just click on send button to confirm. In this case, if you click on your profile icon at the very right here, you should be able to see some information about yourself. So that includes your tag, your name, your fans, your following section. So if you want to view your fans, just click on fans. If you want to view your following, just click on following and you should be able to see all the people that you're currently following. Now, if you want to view your profile, just click on my profile here and you should be able to see your pro uh, profile and edit your profile if you want to as well. So if you edit, want to edit some information like your bio, location, website URL, and a lot more, you can go and set it, this up in this section here. Now, in this case, if you want to share this as well, just click on the share. And also, you could change your availability, so uh, either available or invisible here. So yeah. So in this case, uh, what are the other things that we could do here? So we also have the settings section here, which in this case enables you to edit a few things by yourself, like profile, account, privacy, and safety, notifications, and display if you want to. Now in this case, uh, that's about the settings. Now we also have the your card section here. So in this case, the card that you'll be you'll be adding here is going to be the card that you'll be using to subscribe to someone's uh, account or to their, or basically use the subscription method or the subscription um, system here on OnlyFans. In this case, just click on add a payment card here. And from here, you just need to provide some details about yourself. Like for example, your country, your address, your card details here. In this case, make sure that you have the correct information here as well as the name on the card is actually correct here. And make sure that you think the, you are at least 18 years old in this specific, uh, for you to start using this specific service. Now this case, just, just just click on submit here to confirm and you should be able to start or uh, basically be able to add your current card in your account. Now, if you want to make this as your primary method for rebuilds, just click on this one and you should be able to uh, start uh, making, making this as the primary uh, method for rebuilds. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to go to payments here, if you've done payments on some on some creators, this is where you'll be able to see it. And if you want to verify your um, account or if you want to verify yourself, you go and click on verify here. But for now, let's go ahead and skip that. And if you want to, again, add, want to add a card, just click on the card at the top right here. Same thing. Just provide all the details that is needed. Now, also, you have the option to become a creator. So if you want to become a creator on OnlyFans, you can go and click on become a creator. And in this case, you need to provide or complete the who uh, thing that you'll be seeing here. Like, for example, providing a header image, some information about yourself. Click on the save changes. Just follow the steps here for you to start becoming a creator. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we could do here? We also have the help and support here if you need assistance on any features that is uh, currently on OnlyFans. If you want to change this to dark mode, just click on dark mode here. As you can see, it's kind of cool as we now have the dark mode. And also, if you want to change the language, just click on the language here. And there's going to be a lot of languages that you could choose from. So go ahead and choose whatever here. How to add payment method on OnlyFans. In this case, how do we add a payment method on OnlyFans? Well, adding a payment method is actually pretty easy. 
So first things first is you need to open up your browser here and you want to go to OnlyFans.com and log in into your account. Now from here in your profile at the left side, go ahead and click on the more button that you see at the left side here. From here, choose the option that says your cart. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now in this page here, you have the option to add your cart. Now, if you haven't added any cards into your account, is uh, you will you will see an option here that says add card. But if you want to add another up here method, you can just click on the add card at the top right of your screen, and from here just provide all the details. Now, it is really important that the details that you'll be providing here are correct. Like for example, the country should match where the card was released. So make sure to choose where that card was released. So if it's released in Australia, make sure to choose Australia here and indicate your state, province, address, and even your zip or and postal code. In this case, you also need to indicate the name on your card, the card number, expiration date, and the CVC of that card, and make sure the details actually match what's indicated in the card. Now, also, you need to take the, the confirm that you're at least 18 years old when you're adding a card here and using the platform itself. Now, in this case, uh, they actually, or only fans here, actually support Visa, MasterCard, Maestro. Uh, we also have the uh, Diners Club. Discovery and JCB uh, cards. So if you have those cards, they actually support that. So in this case, just click on submit and you'll be able to add your card. Now, whenever you want to subscribe to an account, we just click on the subscribe button here, choose your payment method and just click on pay and you're all good. How to add Visa gift card to OnlyFans. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you add a Visa gift card to your OnlyFans account? Now you might be want to, you might be wondering how to use it. Can you actually add it in your account? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So first things first, we need to open up our browser here, and we want to go to our account, which is uh, in this case, go to OnlyFans.com and lock in. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to add our card. So typically at the left hand side here, you have the more option, go ahead and click on more. And from here, you want to choose the option that says your card. So let's go ahead and click on your cards. In this case, the card that you have on your account will be used to subscribe to different content or different uh, accounts online. So we all know that there are going to be free accounts that you can access or even accounts that you could basically subscribe to, which in this case are going to be the paid ones. So maybe you want to use it. So in this case, what you need to do is you just need to add a new card here. So in this case, go ahead and click on the add card at the top right of your screen. That is uh, by indicated by a card that has a plus icon on it. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what you need to do is you need to indicate all the details about your card. So in this case, the country is really important. So choose the country where the card was released. So for example, if the card that you have right now or the gift card that you have right now is actually released for on this royal. So make sure to indicate which country it actually came from. Also, you need to state the state and province, the address you currently uh, you have right now, city, zip code, or postal code here, and also your card details. So that includes the name on the card, make sure that it actually matches on the card itself, and the card number, expiration, and CVC. And as you can see at the very bottom, we have Visa. It means that they actually support Visa, which is something really cool. So you could add your Visa gift card into your account here. But once you've added all the details, just click on submit. And from then on, once you want to subscribe to an account, you can just basically go to the account here, click on subscribe and choose your account or your uh, basic gift card as a means of payment. You have to verify card on OnlyFans. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you verify your card on OnlyFans? Well, verifying your card actually depends on your card itself. So in this case, the verification process might be different for different uh, institutions or for different cards. Again, it will be different depending on the card that you have. In this case, what you need to do first is you need to access your OnlyFans account. Let's go ahead and open up our browser here. Go to OnlyFans.com and log in into our account. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the more section, which is at the left side here. You should be able to see more. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, choose the option that says your cards. Now, in this case, if you haven't added any cards in your account yet, usually you should be able to see this option here that says add card. But if you already have added a card here, you will be able to access the uh, add card button at the top right, which is a card that has a plus button on it. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you just need to provide all the necessary details. So for you to fully use your card or for your card to be accepted by OnlyFans, it is, it is important that you select the appropriate details for your card. That includes where the card is it was released. 
like for example you have the country here so you need to indicate where you're currently at the state province address uh, the city here the zip uh, postal code they also have the card details but it includes the email that is associated with your card the name on that card make sure it's exactly the same uh, name that is in the card here in order for you in order for OnlyFans to accept your card also your card number expiration date and CVC they also need to agree to the uh, that you're at least 18 years old here uh, or, or and you're in legal age when you're adding a card here but once you're added your card just click on submit now this is the tricky part now depending on your card uh, you might get a pop-up here just to confirm your identity so some cards they don't require that but for uh, a stricter uh, cards or institutions they might uh, do a simple uh, test to see if it uh, if that card is ac actually yours now typically uh, what they're going to do is uh, first is going to be uh, this is a way of them verifying it so sometimes they would actually deduct a fee from your account so usually it's around one or two dollars from your account so they will deduct one or two dollars just to make sure that it actually contains anything or it contains funds on it and from then on once they deducted one or two dollars uh they will confirm this and basically process your account and it, it might take a, a one minute or two minutes from then so in this case, once your account is verified, once your card is verified, they would actually return those funds. So if they actually deducted $1 or $2, they will return that again back in your account. So you don't need to worry of your account being deducted unnecessarily. So that is the first method of them verifying your account. Now, the second way of them verifying your account is to basically send a certain form of OTP. So OTP is a one-time password, so you might get that PIN or that passcode. Now what you need to do is just need to enter that into your screen there. And once they once you've entered that, they will process and they will verify that this card is really yours. And from then on, they will be able to uh, add this in your account and start using it for subscribing to different accounts. So yeah, again, it, it actually depends on the card that you have, but that's about it. How to find someone on the OnlyFans account. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to log in into our account. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the sign in option here and choose our account. Now in this case, how do we actually search for someone on OnlyFans? Now typically at the top section here at the top right, you should see a magnifying glass icon. In this case, once you click on it, it should change your current view and you should be able to see the uh, search bar here. In this case, you could go ahead and just type in their name here. And from here, you should be able to search them by clicking on the search option. Now, from here, you should be able to see different posts or users. And here, in this case, you could go ahead and click on that account. And you should be able to do a few things here. Like, for example, if you want to support them, you could actually subscribe to their account here or into their um, account or profile here. So in this case, you go and just click on subscribe here for you to subscribe to that specific person or to that specific channel or account. And also, if you want to change a few things, like for example, if you want to uh, favorite them, you could go and click on favorite here and save them to a list. And you also, if you want to message them, you could go and click on message here and this will actually message them. And from here, you should be able to also share them if you want to. Uh, for example, share this to a Gmail messages or chats or whatever here. If you click on more, you should be able to see more here. And also, if you click on the tree dot icon, you have the option to restrict, block, or even report that specific account. In this case, uh, that's how you actually search for a OnlyFans account or find someone on OnlyFans. Now, by the way, some people actually use a different name on the platform itself. So in this case, you might need to actually um, basically visit their other accounts. So typically, uh, OnlyFans creator would be on Twitter. So in this case, you need to visit their Twitter account first. So it's kind of weird because they actually use a different name on the platform itself. But in this case, you could go ahead and just visit the all uh, their other other handles like twitter or whatever now in this case in there and their account you should be able to see a link just click on it and that should actually open up their only fans account but in this case that's about it how only fans subscription works in this case you might be wondering how only fans subscription works so you might be new to the platform and you're wondering how does it actually work well, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to open up our browser and we want to actually go to OnlyFans.com and log in into our account. Now, in this case, uh, there are actually two types of subscriptions that you can get in OnlyFans. So we have the free one as well as the paid ones. 
So in this case, uh, for example, if you're in the OnlyFans homepage here, typically there's going to be suggestions at the right side hand corner of your screen. So typically if a account or the subscription for that account is free, usually you should see the free option at the top left of their account. So in this case, a lot of users actually create free accounts or uh, free subscriptions for uh, different users that want to actually have a glimpse on what their content is. Uh, it's a great way for you to evaluate if you really want to subscribe to their account. But in this case, uh, let's go ahead and open up this account here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So in this case, this is what it's going to look like if an account or a profile here actually offers free subscriptions. Now, for you to subscribe to that uh, to that free one, just click on subscribe for free, and that would actually process that. And as you can see, you're now processed. Now, if you're subscribed to a account or to an account in uh, a profile here, you will be able to access their content. Which in this case, if you unsubscribe to them, so in this case, I'm going to as you can see right now, I can see his content in here. And when we actually unsubscribe to his account, so in this case, let's go ahead and click on unsubscribe here you won't be able to access the content. So it's really important that you subscribe to their account for you to see their content. So maybe for free or maybe for free, paid one. In this case, there's another user, which in this case, uh, the, her account is actually uh, quite, uh, there's going to be a price for her account. So the base for her account here is around $8 a month or ter for 31 days and you can subscribe to her account here. But sometimes users offer uh, some bundles so for example, for three months, you can get her content for 56.97. So this is for three months. Now in this case, sometimes they would give you the limited offer option here since it's actually 60% off. You could get this for $8, but the usual price for her account is going to be 19.99, which is $20 a month. So if you go, if like for example, if you're taking the long term, maybe if you just want to uh, view the uh, uh, her content and see if you like it, you could use the one uh, first month here, which is eight dollars for thirty days. And if you really really like her account, you could basically subscribe to her account by uh, using the three months here, which is five percent off, which is something really cool because you will be able to save along uh, along the way. But yeah, if you want to subscribe to her account, just click on subscribe here. And from here, just click on subscribe again. And from here, you just need to choose or basically enter your account or your card. In this case, if you haven't added your card, you need to add a new one. So in this case, maybe I want to add a card. Let's go and click on add new card here. From here, you just need to provide all the details here. That includes your country, your address, your CD, your card details, card number, expiration date, and CVC. Now, once you've added your card here, you can go ahead and click on submit. And from then on, click on pay and you'll be able to subscribe to her content and you'll be able to uh, unlock all of the content that you see here on uh, her profile. How to get OnlyFans without credit card. This case, we'll be discussing if you can actually use OnlyFans here without actually using a credit card or without any credit cards. Well, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to open up our browser here, go to OnlyFans.com and from here, we need to lock in. So in this case, if you don't have an account yet with OnlyFans, you could easily create one by clicking on the sign up for OnlyFans at the bottom right here, just underneath the lock in button. Now you just need to provide your name, email, and password. So the great thing about OnlyFans here is you don't actually need to provide any card in order for you to start using the actual platform. So in this case, uh, I actually created my account here without actually using any type of uh, credit cards to create my account. So if someone is actually asking for a credit card to create an OnlyFans account, don't believe that you could actually create your account here for free. So it actually depends on other uh, things that you could actually view in OnlyFans. Like for example, if you're a mega, if you're a mega fan of a certain celebrity, uh, you'll need to pay for that membership. But generally, some users or some creators within the platform actually offers a free uh, plan or free membership that you could get. So for example, let's go and click on sign in with Google here. And from here, it should log us in. Now from here, you could go ahead and choose whoever you want to actually follow here. But yeah, so I'll be showing you my uh, section here for more and I want to go to your card section. So in this case, uh, as you can see, I actually have my card added in here. But by default, when I actually created my account, I didn't have any card here. So in this case, uh, if you want to, again, some 
plans or some uh, creators here require you to pay a certain amount for you to access their content but again some creators offers a free plan that you could use or basically be a member or part of so in this case if you really want to uh, join a specific creators um, club or in this case fans again you need to use a card so in order for you to add a card here or access those uh, premium content you want to get here you need to use a card which is something really something really important within this platform because they will be pulling the funds from that specific card now the great thing about the internet is they actually have a thing called virtual cards so it might depend on your country or region on what type of card that they offer so in my case since i'm in the philippines i could actually use maya here so if you're in the philippines uh, maya is going to be a a e-wallet e service so let's just use uh maya wallet here so let's just give the example so this is an uh account that you could use or create in the philippines which in this case they actually give you an option to create your digital card so in this case this card does not have a physical card but basically you could use your virtual card you could create it via the maya app and from then on you could use that um card into your uh, account here so personally currently the card i actually link here is from maya so yeah so they actually actually accept that but in some cases some banks or uh some banks and or cards are not accepted here on only fans so make sure to um take that in consideration first but yeah so depending on your region you might need to uh get a card that is widely accepted on only fans here but in my case most of the cards here are going to be uh, accepted but yeah so that's about it so currently there's no uh, going around this one so if, again if you want to access premium content on only fans you need to have a card but then again a lot of creators here actually offers a free plan that you could join so maybe you could just go to the free plan if you really want to but yeah if you want to access pre uh, premium content you need to add a card but in this case you could just create your only fans account here without using any credit cards but then again uh premium content you need the card but in this case that's about it how to get free only fan subscription without paying in this case you might be wondering where do you actually get free subscriptions in only fans well finding free subscription is kind of tricky but kind of easy as well so the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up our browser and we need to go to only fans and log in into our account now in this case what you need to do here is you just need to basically browse for accounts that you want to subscribe to so for example at the right side here there are going to be some sub uh, suggestions that you could uh, basically get so for example we have this user here as well as this user here so for example let's go and open up the profile for this user here and as you can see their profile here is actually free so you can subscribe to their account for free without actually uh, paying for anything so they actually so uh, uh, release content that is uh, for free for us uh, uh, only fans but again there are going to so going to be some restrictions so you won't be able to access all of their content so if you want to access all their, their content then most likely you need to pay for it but yeah if you just want to view a glimpse of their profile well usually users would have a free uh, version or free account on only fans here now in this case you should see the option here that says subscribe so it's if it actually says free you can just basically click on it and you'll be able to subscribe to their account so usually they would have the free at the top left here so that's how you find uh, subscriptions that are free on only fans so that's the first uh, method of actually uh, use of uh, finding uh, free subscriptions and only fans now the another method that you'd uh, you could actually try here is basically try using x or previously known as twitter so there are going to be a lot of creators who are in only fans that currently uses uh, x as a means of promoting their content so usually you just need to search for uh, x here just type in only fans or if you know their uh, current handle or if you know their name you can just basically type the at the top right here or search for that creator and usually they would have links on their profile and they will give you two options so they would have the free version and a, a premium version of their account now in this case you could try their free version or the free subscription that they have 
But yeah, so those are the different ways on actually finding free subscriptions in OnlyFans via the suggestion um, method at the right side here or via X or Twitter, which is a cool way for you to find uh, different creators or different content creators uh, that are supporting or that is using OnlyFans. But in this case, that's about it. How to pay for OnlyFans without credit card? Is it actually possible? In this case, how do we pay for OnlyFans without any or without using any credit cards? Well, in this case, we first need to discuss the type of accounts that OnlyFans actually offers. So in this case, let's go open up our browser here, go to OnlyFans.com and log in. Now, in this case, there are two types of accounts that you can get or subscribe to in OnlyFans. So we have the free ones, which in this case, you just need to click on the subscribe button here and you'll be able to subscribe to their profile and you'll be able to access their content. But we also have accounts that offer subscriptions. In this case, uh, the uh, usual way here is they actually have a subscribe button here which offers the regular price. Sometimes they would actually give you the option to uh, basically choose or uh, basically have a discount on it. So it depends on the user if they give uh, uh, some uh uh, promos out there so in this case you need to check out their account if they have any promos on their profile right now but yeah so in this case is it actually possible for us to basically pay uh pay only fans without any credit cards well in this case we need to go to our account first in our home page just go and click on more here and let's go to your cards now in this case as you can see we only have the option to add cards in to OnlyFans, which is something really unfortunate, but they do offer that, but basically they actually uh, support Visa, MasterCard, and a lot of other type of cards here as well. So if you add it, if you want to add a new one, just click on add card at the top right. And as you can see, yeah, we only are able to only add cards into OnlyFans, which in this case with how OnlyFans is set up, we won't be able to add any other payment methods, like for example, using e-wallets or even using other means of payment, like for some people. So currently, it is not yet possible with uh, with OnlyFans, which is something really unfortunate. But there are going to be some workarounds that you could try here, just in case you still want to uh, pay for something online. Well, in this case, uh, since again, cards are accepted, are the only ones accepted here on OnlyFans, we need to basically still use our card. So another way for you to uh, basically pay for your services is to basically get a virtual card. So if you're wondering what is a virtual card here, well, virtual cards are from the name itself are virtual cards. So meaning you only you'll, you'll be able to get your details or get a virtual card, meaning you won't have a physical one. You'll only be able to use it for online purposes. But since OnlyFans is online, you don't you don't need the physical one. Well, you could apply for a virtual card online. So one of those websites that you could try here is going to be WISE. So they offer a virtual card here, but you do need to basically create an account with them and provide some details about yourself as well. Now, another way for you to uh, basically get a virtual card is via Revolut. But again, you need to create an account with them and they will actually give you an option here to create a new card, which in this case is the instructions on how to get that. But if you want to apply to uh, their account or create an account with them, you can just go ahead and open this up. Just click on the sign up and just uh, basically get their app and there's a whole sign up process for you to get your virtual card here. So yeah, so in this case, uh, what are the other methods that you could get here? So currently, those are the only ways that you could get or basically pay for OnlyFans, which is again, really unfortunate. But again, there's going to be workarounds so you could try like using virtual cards if you have them. How to cancel OnlyFans subscription. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to log in into your account. So go to OnlyFans.com, log in into your account. And once logged in, we are now ready to unsubscribe to our subscription. So there's actually two ways for us to actually do this. So this first way I'll be showing you is via your subscriptions page. Now the left side here, you should be able to see home, notifications, messages, collections, and subscriptions. In this case, go ahead and click on subscriptions. Now, once in subscription, you should be able to see this UI, UI here, which in this case, you should be able to see your following, which in this case, you should be able to see expired, attention acquired, active, or all. In this case, let's go to all, active. Now, in here, you should be able to see all the subscribe or the accounts that you're currently subscribed. In this case, if you want to uh, unsubscribe to a specific uh, account here, what you need to do is just click on the subscribe for a free option. Let's go ahead and click on it. And it's going out, going to now ask you why you want to unsubscribe. And in this case, you could just basically uh, 
uh, choose the appropriate one here. Once you've chosen that, just click on unsubscribe and you should be able to unsus unsubscribe to that specific user. Now, another way for you to unsubscribe to that user is whenever you actually view or once you actually saw one of their posts here, you can just basically click on one of their names or their name here for you to go to their profile. And from here, you should be able to see a section that says subscribe. In this case, go ahead and click on the for free or subscribe option here. Again, it's going to ask you for the cancellation or recent. And from here, just confirm by clicking on unsubscribe and you should be good. How to unsubscribe from OnlyFans free trial. In this case, how do you unsubscribe to a specific user or an account? In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to log in into our account. So go to OnlyFans.com, log in into your account, and from here, we are now ready to unsubscribe. In this case, there are two ways for in order for you to unsubscribe to that specific account. So first is going to be via the subscription section. In this case, once you click on subscription, you should be able to see this UI here, which includes users or posts. Now, in this case, in the following, make sure that you're in users and click on active. Now, you should be able to see all the active accounts that current, yet you're currently sub subscribed to. In. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just click on the subscribe button for a free option here. And from here, you should be able to see the pop-up here. So are you sure you want to cancel your subscription? In this case, go ahead and answer it accordingly on what you want to answer. So for example, you have low posting frequency or whatever here. But once you've answered the reason for it, just click on unsubscribe and you should be good. Now, alternatively, for you to cancel your subscription via the other way is by via just clicking on their name in here and visiting the profile. Now, typically, there's going to be a section here that says subscribe. So you could just go ahead and click on it. And from here, you just basically choose the specific reason for it. In this case, once you've chosen the specific reason, you can just basically uh, click on unsubscribe and you should now be good and unsubscribe. And that's about it. How to delete OnlyFans account. So how do you actually delete your OnlyFans account? So first things first is you need to go to OnlyFans.com, log in into your account, and from here, once you've logged in, we are now ready to start deleting our account. So at the bottom right of your screen, you should be able to see your profile icon. So in this case, let's go and click on it. And from here, we need to go to our settings. So let's go and click on settings. Now from here, let's go and select the account option that you see on your screen. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit here until you see the account management section, which in this case, you just need to click on delete account. Now from here, you first have to verify the uh, code that you'll be seeing here. So in this case, go ahead and enter that because uh, deleting your account here is permanent. So just want to make sure or they just want to make sure if you really want to do that. In this case, let's go ahead and enter the code itself. And from here, let's go ahead and click on delete account to confirm that. In this case, just click on it and just click on yes, delete to confirm. And that's about it. So it's actually pretty simple and pretty easy. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.